This is the Redux News. Aging may soon be a thing of the past. A new study accidentally reveals biological aging may now be reversible. This new study shows that scientists might be able to not only slow the process of aging, but actually reverse it. In a California study, volunteers were given three common drugs for one year. One was a growth hormone and two different diabetic medications. Scientists have been testing the drugs in the hope of regenerating the thymus gland. Upon further analysis, they found that if the participants had lost an average of two and a half years on their epigenetic clock, measured by analyzing marks on a person's genomes, according to the journal Nature. Participants' immune systems also showed signs of rejuvenation. Now, even the scientists conducting the study were amazed by the results, UCLA researcher Steve Horvath told Nature, which is a scientific journal based in the United Kingdom, quote, I'd expected to see slowing down of the clock, but not a reversal. That felt kind of futuristic, end quote. Now, researchers warn the findings are preliminary and that the study only included nine participants and did not include a control group. But if further research confirms the findings, the impact on healthcare and society's relationship with aging as a whole could be massive. Now, the epigenetic clock is measured by a record of chemical changes to an organism's DNA. The trial's main purpose was to test whether growth hormones could be used to restore tissue in the thymus gland, which is crucial for immune function. The gland starts to shrink after puberty and becomes clogged by fat. Previous studies had shown growth hormone stimulates regeneration in the thymus, but it can also cause diabetes, which is why the diabetes medications were included in the most recent study. Oddly enough, the scientists only checked the epigenetic clocks in the participants as an afterthought. Horvath looked at four different measures of the epigenetic clocks of each of the participants. He found all of them had reversed significantly. Now, Horvath explained, this told me that the biological effect of the treatment was robust, end quote. Now, six participants provided blood samples six months after the trial, and the effect had remained the same. Given that the effect was so strong in each participant, Horvath is optimistic for future testing. Now, the researchers are planning a larger study with more diverse participants by age, gender, and ethnicity, and the three drugs are being tested independently to determine specific effects. The future is now. Let me know what you guys think about this study in the comments below. Thank you for watching.